So you know those really, really cool 3D illustrations that everybody seems to have on Instagram and on people's websites and their profiles and whatever? Well, in this episode, I'm gonna teach you exactly where people are getting those and how you can actually get them. And most of the time, these are for free, so that's really good. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, there's illustrations out there where you can download them as PNGs and sometimes as SVGs and even change the color and add them to your Instagram posts or your UI projects, your websites, your even for client projects, and essentially elevate the quality of the work by so much much. So obviously sometimes people may have custom made ones, but the ones that I've seen most use are these ones that I have in this list right now. I'm going to go over five of them that I know, and I'll even add a bonus one in the end. So stick around to the end for that. But yeah, let's just jump right into it and I'll show you guys the first one. The first one is called Sally and it's a 3D illustration pack. What's really cool about this one is that now obviously all the ones I'm going to show are going to have different pros and cons to them. Like maybe some of them are, are simply entire designs like this one. Like it's actually characters doing something and that can be really specific and sometimes that's not really what you're looking for and so yeah like for example this person has a lot of um, characters that you can download and even some planets and some obscure objects like a clipboard like a diamond yeah these are some really really good illustrations made with a lot of care and a lot of professionalism like this person knows what they're doing you know like look at the quality of, of this render look how well it's lit like these are just some really good renders and and illustrations that a lot of people would pay a lot of money for but thankfully these are free and obviously they have that that kind of style that a lot of people are looking for these days where it's that more elongated structure to, to characters and it looks a bit a bit less realistic and i mean some people are into that you know but this is my favorite one out of the the entire set i don't know why it's just really cool it's a person on a scooter uh trying to touch a bird you know it's really cool right the next one is one that I've personally used on my thumbnails for the channel and it's called BAM. So it's a free illustration kit that you can download on Gumroad and obviously I'm going to have all of these links in the description so check those out. And pretty much this is more of a objects illustration pack so it's not really like the, the set scenes like they were on the past project or in the past resource but this is more like um, kind of obscure objects that, that you would find around the office or more like business objects that you can find. So you have a lot of these like uh, like a pin, a, a house, like a binoculars, whatever it's called, a pie chart. Like I feel like these are more businesses, and you wouldn't really use this for, I guess, if you were, if you needed a skateboard or something like that, right? You, you'd go out and find that specific illustration. These are some really cool objects that you could use. Now all these are PNGs, so you can't really change the colors and you can't really change the, I guess, what they are, but they are really really well lit as well and like like the past one however they are a bit more low poly when you get into downloading them you can see that they have some jagged corners so maybe you can use this source as more of a smaller icon set or a even like for example with my thumbnails you can you can't really see the the, the entire texture of it but yeah again this is completely free so you can't really be too picky can you Next up is Frudo. Now I haven't used this source at all, but I saw that it does have some really great quality uh, resources. So this is just a, a set of packs that you can use and they are a bit more obscure. So I'm not really too sure where you would use these, but here are some social media icons that you can use for, I guess, Instagram and I guess just social media, wouldn't you? you can, you're free to download those. There's even a birthday pack, some more birthday stuff, and then also some kitchen stuff. So I guess if you wanted to create a an, an app with kitchen utensils or pots, pans, mugs, salt, whatever. Yeah, another one that's really, really cool. Next one is called ShapeFest. This is a really, really, really good tool. It has over 3,000 hands. It's got so many clay, plastic, glass, metal, ceramic models. There are a few customizable ones that are, are paid, but most of these are completely free. I mean, you can see how crazy this is. What, I, what I've used is the hand pack. So you have all of these unique shapes and I guess movements of hands, and that can be really, really good if you need something very specific, like maybe you could use this for like, you know, that meme. Um, uh, you have a thumbs up here, you have a, the, the small emoji, you have the, the shock emoji, you know, and then all these comes in six tones, it's six, six skin color tones, and also includes 10 angles of each hand. And, and I mean, the really cool thing about this is that maybe you can change the color of this through uh, 
through opacity layers and through just adding layers on top on on Photoshop. So maybe that's really good. And you can also you, you can also imagine that you could use some some Blender if you know how to use Blender and add a tool here like a wrench or a watch or something. Or you can really build on top of these, which is something really cool. Also with Shapefest, there are basic tools, not tools, but basic shapes. So you have the you have the classic uh, clay Apple devices. So if you want to put mockups and of your of your UI or whatever, you can put it on top of these. You have uh, clay characters, and then you also have the shapes. Now the shapes is something pretty cool, and I could see you use them in the same way that that he uses them in the website, where you can kind of elevate your your design. Like the background could be really cool if you have a lot of these moving uh, 3D objects. So yeah, this is another site that's really, really powerful. Another one is called uh, Icon Shock. Now this is a huge collection with 1200 icons and they're all mostly free. Now this is a lot of icons that are kind of random objects and they are precisely that. They are just objects. They're not really scenes like we saw in the first one with Sally. You do have sort of a weird color scheme going on with a lot of them, which makes it um, kind of hard to to, I guess, match with your project or your branding. You can't really change the colors. You can only use these colors here. And I guess, I mean, I guess that's fine if it's if it's luckily within your, your brand. But yeah, for a lot of these, they're just really high quality renders. And yeah, they're, they're pretty specific. Like we have, here are all the icons that we can see. We have a telescope, a brain, headphones. I mean, it's all some pretty random stuff. So yeah, when you do download it, you have different pricing structures, and obviously, if you want to use them for um, paid licenses, you get different you get different accesses, or you get different um, abilities that you can use them with with paid services or your website or whatever. But you can just download the free version, and you get all the things with just a PNG. And for some people, that's completely fine. So yeah, another really great resource. The last bonus resource is called Hands. Now this is a really, really good library specifically just of Hands and sometimes with a premium version, it's also holding specific phones and tablets, Samsung gear, Apple Watch, things like that. But for the free version, what you do get is a lot of hand gestures and movements and you can also edit them with the Blender files if you do know how to use Blender. I don't, which is a shame, but anyways, um, so you have all of these really cool styles that you can use for your presentations and your website, like everything I just said, like here we have some examples of where you'd be able to use these and yeah, you can kind of start to think. And the really cool thing is this website also has a few extensions with uh, avatars, with different icons and yeah, this is the bonus. It's super, super cool where you can get a lot of diverse characters that you can add to your website or to your projects. But yeah, the main thing is Hands, such a cool source to use guys and all of this, remember, is completely free. Obviously, if you want the Apple Watch and the premium, you gotta pay 20 bucks for that, but I mean, who needs those, right? Anyways, now you know how to get these really, really cool resources. But if you guys think I missed any of them or you have some other ones that I should include, I might do another episode of this depending how well this video does. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.